All right, I've uh, backed my tractor down to my dolly. Method-wise, you're supposed to put the dolly away with, with the tractor. You don't, you're not supposed to go to the dolly pad with the, with the dolly behind the front trailer. That's just not the way it's done, where uh, you're going to want to get hurt. And that's how the dolly pad gets all messed up. You've got dollies every which way but loose. The dolly should be put away with the tractor. You shouldn't be trying to manhandle this dolly, like push it like 35, 40 feet across the pad. You want to use this, uh, this brown horse here to move the dolly. All right, so I'm going to put the dolly away with my tractor. Remove the cotter pin, raise the pin latch. Same thing, I'll, before I move, lift the dolly, I'm going to take the chains off the handle, put them on the ground to, re to reduce the weight. Without a, and uh, keep them out of the way so you don't cause a tripping hazard. Use the safe work methods. I'm going to lift my dolly, get close, position my feet properly, bend my knees, get a good firm grasp, overhand grasp, lift with my legs, place the dolly eye onto the tractor's pinnacle hook. Obviously, you want to keep your hand away from this pinch point. Close the pinnacle latch, insert the cotter pin. I want to connect my chains from the dolly to my tractor in a crisscross manner, hooking from below with the spring loader clips facing up. That's another method. You move a dolly to chains from the dolly to my tractor in a crisscross manner, off the ground, hooking from below with the spring loader clip facing up. Once again, the reason for the crisscross is so the chains would act as a cradle if the dolly came off the pinnacle for some reason. It would rest on top of the chains, keep it from dragging the ground. Clips are facing up to prevent any kind of road debris from kicking up and not going to clip off this loop. The method is you're supposed to have the chains connected to the tractor and the light cord plugged in, even if you move, no matter where you move the dolly, even, even if it's on property. The chain should be connected to the tractor and the light cord plugged in when you're moving the dolly anywhere. If I move the dolly from here, to the next slot over, this is the, uh, this is the way it should look. I've seen uh, numerous times drivers driving around a yard somewhere and a dolly comes off the tractor and you got a 2,800 pound missile going to do a lot of damage because they didn't have, the chains weren't connected. All right, now we're gonna to proceed to the dolly staging area. So I entered, I entered the tractor with three point suspension. Always make sure the park brakes apply and the transmission to neutral. You're gonna depress the clutch, cover the brake pedal, Fasten the seatbelt. This is the in cab routine. This is what's supposed to happen every time you enter the tractor. Insert key start engine. Once again, whenever you start a tractor up, you should, you should make sure the oil pressure is rising within the first five seconds. And you gotta, you gotta have at least 90 psi, 90 pounds of air pressure to move the feeder. You got 110. You wanna proceed to the dolly staging area. Okay, I just back my dolly in at the dolly pad. I'm gonna spot my dolly here, leave my dolly here at the dolly pad. First, I want to disconnect the light cord from the tractor, place it on the catch basket. Disconnect my chains from the tractor. You want to place them on the top part of this intermediate bar so I don't cause a pinch point on my hands when I grab the bottom of the handle. Move the cotter pin, raise the pin a latch. Use the safe work method, get close, position my feet properly, bend my knees, get a good firm overhand grasp on the bottom part of the handle, lift the dolly with my legs. Safely lower to the ground. You gotta push on the tires, push on the dolly tires for final positioning. Always close the pin a latch, and reinsert the cotter pin. This concludes placing the dolly at the dolly pad.